Welcome everyone, Gamer Cop here. This is episode 24 of my Farm Manager Agro-Tourism series. And we're going to see how the train wreck goes, part two. We created the train wreck, now we're going to watch it wreck. So that's basically what's going to happen, we'll see. Um, how are we doing on employees? We got 12 of 12, 12 of 12, and 12 of 12. That was quick and good. Excellent. Okay, that is fantastic. Um, we'll see how that goes. We're paying them a lot of money to do nothing right now, but that's okay for now. It just is what it is. So we're still doing okay, I think, financially. Um, oh, they're planting those. They didn't get those last year, so now they're getting those planted. I did change over the wine production, so that way they're actually making something that is uh, there. Um, perfect, using the big cultivator. They're getting things done. What are you doing? No. You went over, are you kidding me? This I need to fix. Um, we can reduce the range to just be these fields. And that's how that's gonna go. Um, your range, to just be, I guess I have to include that field for that one, but this guy, he also, he gets that one, right? Yeah, make sure I didn't miss that. Um, that parking lot, I guess it's one thing if they help out with that field, but I don't want them helping out with every field that exists. So, we're going to use this range tool to get them a little bit further down the line. That one, I got them. Perfect. And this one, easy peasy. All right, there. Now all these tools will only get used in here because this is their job. Do this. How much manure do we have actually? Uh, 64,000. What is the market set for that trade? So above, we need to probably keep 200,000 on board. Purchase until, really don't want it to drop below 80,000 either right now. So we'll buy a little bit of manure. Um, it's just basically we're buying fertilizer is all it really is. So what's the storage that we have available? Uh, 220,000 is it, huh? Interesting. I would have thought with other storages and stuff, we would have had more room than that. But I guess not. Huh. Okay. They're working on stuff. That's fertilized. These fields are just, they're a machine now. These ones will just operate as they need to be going and doing and things. Um, we're working on making pickles, okay. Carrots some carrot juice. We can actually, um, we can change, well, we can't really make, we don't have tomatoes yet, but we'll leave this alone. And I think we can actually get this up and running. Uh, we might as well have them start working on something. Um, that's full, so we need to build more houses over here. And I think I'm just gonna build for that house oh, it hits the corner of that one building is there really only room for one more over here that's kind of a bummer it's hoping to put four across there if that's okay well actually we'll have this also works perfect right there for more buildings so actually it'll be all right what is that that's the handyman okay yep higher let's look into some manufacturing people higher 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 those were great hires there uh, um, most of you guys were really squared away. Five out of five, five out of five. And you can get trained up. Okay, and then we're gonna sign. Um, okay, let's double check our research too. We need to make sure we are always doing research of some kind in here. Uh, where is the one that allows us to have more employees? I have to 300 staff. We're at 300 staff right now. This one's, that'll take a while, but I'm, that's not going to be an issue for a long time, but we'll still just get ahead of it. That way, that's just kind of researching in the background. I need to keep remembering to do research. It'd be nice to just get all the research done. Um, okay. Look at that. we got some black currants growing. That's good stuff there. I'm surprised there's not like, I guess they're, I don't know if, Swore there was like an orchard harvester, but there's just not grapes. Yeah, that makes sense, but you're just gonna have to pick them by hand, which is kind of interesting. 
I guess that makes sense. I don't know why I'm shocked by that. All these things that are shocking me that should not be uh, shocking me. Um, we can put some more manure storage actually over here. I wish there was like an extra large manure storage, but there is not. We can put some more of those over there, might as well. Um, just kind of makes sense. We have a little bit of extra storage. That bumped us up to 264. That's perfect. That'll help us out a little bit. We have a little bit more space to store more. Problem is our animals are not producing as much. Um, how are you guys doing actually through here? Yeah, the lines aren't crazy or anything like that. Okay. Yeah, things are going good. Well, we could also probably top out doing turkeys, ducks, and geese as well in there to make those petting zoos a little bit more set up good to go. They need more tractor drivers. So I'm, I'm actually going to hire, I know this is crazy. I'm going to hire two more people that are good at orchards and hopefully machines as well. Let's do machines first. Those will be easier. Yeah, we'll hire you. You yeah, actually let's just get some machine people. Why not? Not manufacturing them. Maybe we'll, not, we'll, we'll get one that's orchards and machines. Or perfect. Literally perfect. Okay. Um, and you guys can do work as well. And we're just going to upgrade you guys. Five, 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 five. And boom. Finally, the last one. Okay, fantastic. That'll that'll give them more stuff to do. I guess they don't need more tractors. That's we need more tractors, don't we, over here? If we're to, if we're gonna do that, um, let's see what we can move around a little bit. How big of a space does that do? That will, if it's right there, it'll do that whole area, which is great. I think we will. I think we'll do that. And this one actually have probably has that. Yes, yeah, so that has warehouse and range of it. We're gonna do that. And we're gonna demolish this warehouse. Um, once that's built, we are gonna have to run power out here though. There we go. Okay, and we can now demolish that, which I don't. Actually, if we demolish these, remove those out of the way, that could give us room for... Well, let's see if we can fit a garage in here. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. Never mind. We're good. We can do that. And then we can buy... That's only three more tractors, though. Yeah, you know, that'll be fine. What can you do? You can't make it perfect, I guess. Yeah, you just can't make it perfect. But that'll work. That'll be fine. Buy machines. Let's go to tractors. We will buy buy multiple. We'll buy three of these guys. There. Now they have so many tractors. <laughs> Do we really need four orchard tractors? We actually could. This is actually a good idea. Let's sell one of these, and then we're gonna repark this guy there, and then that gives us enough room for. Because we probably don't need that. No, oh, I just need to buy one, but that's, that's okay. Just to buy multiple. There, now we have eight tractors. That will that will make it so we have plenty of stuff that can happen over here. Grass already got harvested. Nice. Um, not enough flour. It's crazy how much flour they're going through over here. Um, because we are running out of materials. I guess rye. Are we out of rye? We might be. Oh, wow. We're out of rye, so we might be just going through rye too quick. Um, how many fields? We have that field of rye there. We have that one of wheat. We have two wheat fields. That's why we're not running out of wheat. We're going to change this to oops, rye. There we go. Okay, and that one, you can work on that. That'll be fine. Um, yeah, that'll be good. Because we need, obviously, we're not getting enough rye, so... That'll produce enough rye to hopefully get us through. We should. It looks like we're producing enough wheat. And you guys are low on carrots, which makes sense. We probably should produce actually more carrots. The carrots are harvested by a machine, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, we can do more carrots. Let's do carrots organic, and let's allow that to happen. Okay, yeah, that, that just makes sense. 
Um, yeah, we need we need more carrots. So strawberry, that's nice. Uh oh, what is going on in here? There's a lot of things. Oh gosh, get that one. Show me. Show. Oh yes, let's repair, renovate. There, that solved a lot of those problems because it was all these guys didn't have a warehouse. So that fixed that. And actually, how much do these cost a month? $50 a month? Let's just put another one in so we don't have to worry about it ever again. That way, if one gets broken down, the other one will pick up the slack temporarily. So, all right, we're missing a lot of stuff still. Oh, gosh. Show me. Show me. Carrot. I don't know where it's at, but it needs to be fixed. Oops. Okay, train wreck is still underway. And it's actually going pretty smooth. We did have to make some adjustments. What is, it, what is he doing there? That thing's so narrow, but he's planting apples. So that makes sense. Okay. Some of these, obviously, some of the work wanted to be done every year, which would be kind of nice. But this year, at least to get it going, we needed this many people. Show me. Are we out of... Did we not have enough hemp? We have plenty of flax. Did we actually run out of hemp? We might need another hemp field then, too. Well, that's going to go with all these. Sure, that'll be fine. All right, and then that will be all the fields that they need to do over here. That will keep them busy. Oh, see, look at this. I knew this would be a problem. No orchard sprayer. Where in here does it say I need one? Stupid. Stupidness. <gasps> Crazy. All right, well, we will we're gonna have to build like a Build it that direction because it makes a little bit more sense. Um, and then the range of that. What am I doing here? The range of what? Park, yeah, parking. Why isn't it showing up? I guess because it's not hooked up. Just square that off. That'll be fine. Yeah, we can keep it like right now. That'll be fine right there. All right, let's go ahead and purchase four orchard sprayers just so we never have this issue again. Well, I guess there's only three orchards, so if we bought more than that, it wouldn't make sense because they can use, they can only use three of them at a time, max. So there we go. All right. Ridiculous. So ridiculous. Yeah, not enough cucumbers. I knew that. We're out of okay, carrots we fixed and hemp. Okay, they're growing more of those. So that's all been fixed. And these guys are within range. They should all be within, yeah, they are in range. So these could also be turned into fields and we could do something with those as well. We would have to put a new um, a new pump over here if we wanted to do it that way with the irrigation, which we probably would. But at least we know we can use these these three spaces as fields. I'm actually just going to make them fields right now, just to just so I know that they can be used for that. Because they should all be within range of yeah everything over here. Yep, that's in range. That is not in range, but that one is. Uh, what's broken over here? Third of eight. Um, do they have a silo? That. This one does not. Let's build a silo for it. I know we're thinking like really far ahead and unnecessarily, but. Oh, there's actually a little water pump over here too. So this one can. This one can. That one. Oh, is that are those in range of a? I don't see one within range for them. This one definitely. These two. Huh. I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know. Harvested that. That's great. Okay, rye, rye. Cucumber, carrot, yep, hemp. Anything new? Oop. Jar of the Chardonnay. Um, I think that's all the grapes we have, unfortunately, right now. You guys are out of... That's the Chardonnay. You guys are out of the Merlot. So, yeah, there's nothing we can do about that. 
um, because we don't have any more any more grapes. Uh, we can sell some wine though, which is going to give us just a boatload of cash. There we go. We can sell that. It's Five hundred forty-three thousand. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, carrot shouldn't be an issue. We should have plenty of carrots now. Making carrot juice. Oh, I need to do something with the carrot juice. Actually, they've just been making it. We haven't been listing it to sell here. Let's put uh, carrot. Nope, not apple juice. Carrot juice on here. We need to start selling that. The next year our goal after we do all the processing from this facility, if this all works out and we get this up and running, we will start producing the products that we can make from this. And then that will get our farm shop pretty much up and running as good as it can be. Obviously we'll build another one because we're gonna do more agro-tourism stuff and get all that set and good to go. Okay. Are growing, strawberries are growing, cherries are growing, plums are growing, black currants, cucumbers, tomatoes, gooseberry, and the more raspberries. So everything's going well. We're actually keeping up fairly well over here. Well, I'm hoping we have enough people here to do like two or three harvests at a time because some of these are going to get pretty busy, especially when all the orchards are good to go right at once. What are you waiting on? Oh, the machine, the tractor's busy. What? What? There's three orchard tractors. So if you're waiting on one of those, you can use one. The, the tractor should not be busy for you. That that does not this does not compute. That's why there's so many tractors that I purchased, is so that way they won't be busy when you need to use them. Oh, I'm great at this. All right. Well, what can you do? The bee people up over here might want their own trucks. They're carrying things probably fine. I can't imagine they have a lot to carry, but still. I know there's plenty of flax, so that should be able to get in here. Guys, these workers are just the worst. They're just lazy, it seems like. Um, they don't do everything I need them to do. But Okay. We're doing pretty smooth, actually, right now. We're going pretty smooth. Um, yeah. We're going pretty smooth. I might actually, I might bring you guys back in maybe when it's time to harvest everything. That might be good. Put a little gap in here. Yeah, Cause nothing really exciting is happening. We have a lot of stuff ready over here to harvest, but nothing really exciting is gonna happen in the meantime. So we might just put a little, a little break in there. Um, yeah, we might do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Okay. I will see you guys when it's time, probably for orchards. That's the kind of the big step, and that'll be when it's really a challenge. So we'll see how it goes. Until then, I'll bring you guys back in if something changes, but I'll likely bring you back in when it's time to do the, or the uh, orchard harvest. So I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, I have brought you back in a little earlier than expected. I did a few things. Um, the one thing I noticed is, well, we are 99 days until winter, and these guys are quite a bit into winter before, so we may not actually even get a harvest off of these. I also realized that uh, we don't need, um, so, well, first off, I built another manufacturing plant here, and then I realized, well, we don't actually need tomato juice. We're just making it for fun, which is fine. We'll just sell it for profit. I decided to put pickles in here as well, but I think we probably should double up the carrot juice instead of making tomato juice. So, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll keep growing tomatoes for now because we have them going here, but we don't actually need them for anything, if I'm not mistaken, in here. Because the ready meal doesn't take that. Um, the cake shouldn't take it. We need cherries, plums. We need black currants, gooseberries, raspberries, strawberries, um, and apples. But we don't need tomatoes. So I actually think next year we're going to get rid of the tomato field, which is fine. Uh, we'll keep doing this for now. But I think I'd like to double up the carrot juice and then have you know each of these factories doing that. It just kind of makes more sense. Uh, but everyone seems to be working now. They're starting to get more materials to be able to do things, which is great. Um, if I change this recipe to cake, I just wanted to see what it takes. So we're making the eggs, we have plenty of the milk, and then we need, okay, wheat flour. So we probably can start actually making cakes, I would think. We'll hit okay for that. Let's build. Um, where's the bakery at in here? Oop, that's not the bakery. Build. What did I just grab there? 
That was the oh the frozen food factory. Yeah, we don't need that one right now. Let's get another bakery put in here. And then they take they take four people. Yeah, of course they do. Why wouldn't they take four people? We need another house for all of our workers over here. Um, let's build. They can live right next to their little bakery, pretty much. I'll just put them down here at the end. But yeah, they'll, they'll be pretty close to there. And then we can hire some people here in a second. Make sure nothing's, no vehicles are broken. I don't see this thing right here. Show me. Renovate that. Show me. Renovate that. Drive me crazy. Uh, machines. Show me. Repair that. So that's getting fixed. Okay. Perfect. Those are all going to get handled then. Okay. Um, let's keep time rocking and rolling for now. So there we go. Got reoriented there. Um, okay. Um, and the one thing I also did too is in the automatic trade, I set pickles in to sell at 5,000 because we aren't going to need a ton. And carrot juice were out completely right now because they haven't harvested carrots. They've been taking their sweet time doing that. So that's to sell at 2,000. And all the products that sell in the store, I bumped those up to make sure they're at 2,000. Each tomato juice selling all of it because we don't need it. Um, so all of that will get sold, which is fine. Um, and I'm, yeah, we're going to just keep doing that for now until we get rid of tomatoes completely, which we're going to wait for. Well, we have carrots now. Oops, sorry. My oh goodness. My phone's going off like crazy. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, mute that real quick. There we go. Okay. So, um, yeah, we can get that going here in a second. But bakery, this is going to be organic cakes, I think, is just good enough. Um, and that'll be only one thing using the rye. We might actually, since we have two factories making it, we might actually have them also do rye bread. So there's two things um, using the rye flour, two things using the wheat flour, and that'll be good for that. Um, let's go over to here. Let's hire some workers. Uh, manufacturing, hire. Manufacturing, hire, hire. Manufacturing, hire. Perfect, that should do it. Okay, um, let's upgrade all you guys real quick in your manufacturing realm perfect you boom boom and i've just been doing research too on the slide which actually we need another research project let me get these guys going first okay they'll start working on that and then let's get another research project i've just been working down this so reduces the cost of machines so there we go good for that okay so you guys are out of what oh pickles now or cucumbers excuse me you're out of those we can change this to uh, organic carrot juice now as well. I'm not going to worry about those tomatoes. Oh boy, that was a lot of bad stuff that just happened. Let me pair that. What were th there were 20 some odd things in here. They're making me panic. That was a lot. I don't know what kind of we must have like some sort of glitch or something going on. We're still making stuff and we were low on raspberries too so i actually put this field in and put raspberries in it because we were really low on uh, raspberries which is fine and then tomatoes i'm actually just going to leave them alone I just, just, why not i'm just gonna let them grow until we know another product that we need more of to put in there so we'll see how the orchards go and see if we want to put in our orchard in there but for now i'm just going to leave them alone um and then on the market here on trade sell item let's do tomatoes we're gonna set that to sell above zero. So it just clears all those out and then everything else should be doing fine there. And do we have actually a good point? Do I have like cucumbers in here now? We're growing cucumbers now. We're growing a lot of stuff now. Uh, yeah, we probably should add some of those products in at some point. If we, well, we'll, we'll just kind of wait and see. Worst case scenario, quite honestly, we can always sell things in here that we have way too much of if they're not even if they're not set in there that'll be fine i know a lot of these are set to different values see raspberries compared to fifty thousand strawberry ten thousand raspberry which we don't need a ton right now but we'll need more when we start making jams and things so that's why i wanted to get that up and then these guys i'm not even mess messing with their stock because we haven't started using them yet um yeah that'll be fine in here we can sell that wine off and that wine off Figure that out. Um, there we go. Okay, we're selling stuff. We're still making really good money. Um, doesn't seem to be anything that can slow that down. Okay. They're doing what they can do, which is great. Um, good, they got that. 
completely harvest it. I need them to harvest the stupid carrots. I have a lot more carrots than they actually harvest them. Gooseberries, that's great. Oops. You guys are missing cucumbers. So based on that, based on the fact that we're missing cucumbers, I honestly think that we're going to do this over here. Is this our cucumber field? Yeah, we're going to... After they're done harvesting this, we're going to change this to cucumbers because that seems to be now the thing that we're low on, which is fine. And then that way next year we'll start getting double harvests of cucumbers um, to keep up with the factories, which is totally fine. So that'll be good. In retrospect, if I would have made sure we didn't need actual tomato juice, I probably wouldn't have built a second factory over there. But now we're going to try to keep up with them um, just because we have them now. So make sure nothing's broken in there. It'd be nice once we get like we can actually address all these issues and then so when they're there we can just address them as they come and we're addressing all of them that would actually be really nice but uh, i feel like that is a bit of a pipe dream so we'll see we're making progress here getting a ton of tomatoes off of that got a ton of people harvesting which is all of our temporary workers which is great oh good they're getting more uh, cucumbers that's good good for our pickle production um, yeah, and we'll see because we might need more gooseberries and things like that, which just kind of is what it is. Um, we can always adjust fields over here and add more fields or do whatever we need to do. Um, some of this too might end up being we need another section of area where we do a bunch of um, hand crops like this, which is totally fine. We can always set up another area like this if we need more. So I'm not too worried about it. Almost done. So many tomatoes. So many of them. Okay, we're taking that away. Let's start done with this. I changed the crop this time. Yeah, I know. Okay. Come on, you can do it. There. Yes. And I would like to do cucumbers. Perfect. Okay. So that'll be two cucumber fields, which is great. And exactly what we need. So things are happening. I don't know if they're going to harvest these this year. I honestly don't. I don't think they can harvest in the winter. I think they're just not going to do well, We're not going to be workers for one, actually. That's a good point. Um, so we'll, ugh, yeah, we're just not going to have any workers. We're going to have to wait until spring to harvest or wait until next year to get them. Because, I mean, which it's kind of makes sense. They're, it is what it is. So. By next year, we realize we need a set of workers in the winter time. We'll figure that out. But for now, we're just going to go with what we got. Oh, goodness. These guys break down everywhere. More stuff broken down. No. Okay. I feel like they don't always give me a, a warning when things break down, which really bothers me. Yeah, see, like this one, that's broken down. We do not have a warning in here for it, which is ridiculous. So how am I supposed to... I have to like supervise all the tractors. And look at this, it's broken down too. This is what's holding us back. All of our stuff is breaking and no one is telling me. This is ridiculous. Ugh, it's, probably, it's gotta be one of the most frustrating things. I definitely should be getting warnings when things are breaking, but things are not giving me warnings for that. <laughs> um, what do you, if this has been saying it needs a, uh, a tractor but I think there's nothing for to be done on it so I don't know things are glitching it just is what it is I guess sometimes um yeah I don't I don't know what to do about that I've never also I think made this big and productive of a farm before in this game so we might be pushing its limits and I will tell you my graphics card does not like running this game even though I have a 3080 it is not about it so just be, be aware of that in case you're playing it and you get a big farm going it is not a fan of so this is a big of a harvest, or this is a big of a farm. Maybe probably not the harvest either, but yeah, it's not a big fan, so. They already got that one turned over. They quick about that. Goodness. They got those cucumbers in there quick. That was impressive, uh, quite honestly. Harvesting potatoes, that's great. They need to harvest. Carrots, oh my gosh, another thing's broken down. There are you. Because then the workers just sit out there with them, and this one's broken too. They don't do anything because those are just broken. We need another. Can 
Jack wants fairly good conditional air machines and fix them when needed. I don't honestly believe that he does a good job. But we, we do need something over here. He doesn't fit over there, but I bet you... Hard to get a warehouse in there. That warehouse covers all that. We could do ones on the edges. We bought this land here. Try to get a place for the machine guy to go in. Yeah, I don't know. This design works out perfect other than that. We might have to destroy our carrot field in the winter time and then maybe make it a little smaller and put that in there. The other weird thing about this game is you can't make like odd weird shaped fields. You have to do rectangular fields can't do any other shapes, which is kind of frustrating, but is what it is, I suppose. Um, okay, they're doing that. That's all good. Harvesting a lot of things. Need a broken building. Renovate that. Perfect. We have a ton of storage. Nothing's getting crazy out of hand in there, so. Yep. Oh, boy. Okay, perfect. Everything's working. Seemingly working. How long we got until winter? 38 days. Yeah, I don't think they're going to end up harvesting some of this, but... Yeah. You know, I think, I think we'll wrap it up there. I think that's pretty good for what we've got going on. We made some more factory upgrades. Um, this is such a ridiculous system we have over here. But it makes us a lot of money. Honestly, it does. Let me... I'm, I am curious. Just if you guys hear how much should we make. Um, get out of here. Uh, I don't know, should we make last year on that? We should be able to go count history, guest, guest. It'll be a big payout near the beginning of the guest accommodation. Uh, wind farm profit 137,000. So they're making us a good amount of money every month. It's like a $1.4 million a year wind farm, which is great. But anyhow, that's what I got for you guys. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the GamerCop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been GamerCop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.